world this is your girl Pooh, and today i am going to be doing some more couponing i am pretty much set up to create a scenario where i literally take no money to the store of course my favorite store is a coupon is cvs the only store that i'm comfortable couponing at is CVS <laughs> but I'm set up to create a scenario where I pretty much get everything that I need for free so let's get started so what I'm needing is well this is the thing I don't need necessarily any more water we have like plenty of water, bottles of water in the house. I don't need any bottles of water for the house because we have over like 12 or 14 cases of water right now. So instead of me going to the store for water this time, which I usually use my care pass, my $10 care pass, specifically for water. I usually don't use it for anything else but water. That was the reason why I decided to get it was so that I could use it for water since I'm the one in the home that consumes 100% bottled water. My mom enjoys the tablets just as much as the bottled water. My grandfather is the same. He enjoys the tap just as much as the bottled water. But I consume 100% of the bottled water in the house. I feel the need to make sure we keep as much in the house at all times. I could create a scenario still with including the water that creating two scenarios i could create one that um, includes water basically 90 percent of the transaction or i could treat myself for the month instead of using the care pass ten dollars for water i could actually use it for the makeup products that i actually need which actually makes a lot more sense if you really think about it. But it's nothing wrong with having additional water for the house because anything could happen. I mean, we could go back on lockdown or anything of that nature and can't really get to certain things that we need because we must be at home and we would have that. So I'm, I'm having to think about like the days and the weeks ahead when it comes to me focusing on the essentials first and then my desire second. What I think I'm gonna do is just try to create two scenarios. One for the definite necessities, which is 90% of the transaction being centered around water. And then the second scenario, being uh, really more focused on the things that I need and want in reference to makeup products. In order for me to get everything that I need for free, because I'm going to put it on this paper, free. I'm not taking any money. We're doing free. If you can see that right there, then you're following with me perfectly because we're not taking any money. So I have to think about, first of all, what my first scenario is going to be, which is going to be, um, N is going to be for necessities and then W is going to be for my want scenario. So we're going to have two different scenarios. The first one is my necessities, which is a transaction of 90% water. What that means is that I am going to try to get four, K 
cases of water. At two ninety nine a piece for free. Keep that in mind for free. And I'm gonna try to get one thing that I need of a makeup product, which is easy, which easily, which is is a. I'm sorry, guys. Which would be a eyeshadow eyeshadow brush or um, the eyeshadow applicators, the Q-tips or whatever that you can use for the eyeshadows. So it'll be one or the other. But I wanna get all this stuff for free. So it'll be five items for free. So that's for my necessities. Now, as far as my wants, I still need the eyeshadow brush or the eyeshadow applicators. Um, like I said, either or on both sides. If it's the case that I'm going to be getting my wants instead of my needs, I can I can purchase everything online. I don't even have to go to the store. Like that that would be great to just do everything online and just stay put at home because my wants are not a thing that I have to go risk my life out there to get when I can just do everything from the comforts of my home. If I decide to get the four cases of water, which obviously makes sense right now in this very strange and difficult time that we live that we're living in it only makes sense to do the four cases of water exactly what i need as far as a makeup product and then just move it on from there so on my wants i don't even know what i want I just know what I need, and it's the eyeshadow brush or eyeshadow applicators. So, since I don't know what I would even want from CVS, which I could look up and start being like, oh, I want this, and oh, I want that, like I'm a kid in a candy store, I could just literally just focus on my necessities and figure out how we can literally walk out the store with four cases of water one eyeshadow brush or one pack of eyeshadow applicators and not pay a dime, a nickel, a quarter, or a penny for anything. So let's see what coupons I have on the CVS app. Okay, world. So we have, you know, a few things that we can work with. We have the Care Pass, of course, that's $10. That is definitely going to pretty much get all four cases of the water with just a little bit of help from the $3 off coupon for spending $12 or more on a food item or drink item. So with those two combined together, that's gonna easily pay for the four cases of water with no problem. The rest, which is four extra bucks that I've earned in the last like few weeks, on top of the 30% off in the entire transaction coupon, which I received in the mail. I usually receive a 30% off coupon usually like once a month since like this pandemic has started and I usually use it to help me get water as well because usually my budget for water is usually ten dollars out of my own pocket like ten dollars of actual money on top of whatever coupons and extra bucks that I can use on the CVS app so usually it's like between 
10 and 20 dollars maybe even more um as far as my budget goes each month to purchase water but this month since we have like so much more water than we normally have around this time i am just getting extra water but like i said i could have went the other route of getting all my wants and staying at home pretty much but I think it's always best to have a lot more than what you need and not enough. So, as I said, we're going to be using the $10 care pass and the $3 off of $12 or more of food item slash drink item coupon to purchase the water for free. The rest of this, which is four extra bucks and the 30% off the entire transaction, will actually help me get the eyeshadow brush or the eyeshadow applicators for free. Now, I actually had priced a few eyeshadow brushes. I'm crossing my fingers that they actually have them in stock at whichever CVS I decide to go to. And I also priced some eyeshadow applicators, which I'm referring to the Q-tips that you can use for eyeshadow usage. So the eyeshadow brushes were in my price range for me to be able to get it for free, literally not paying out of my pocket for anything. So I'm really excited. I, I've done the numbers. I just figured that let's just go to the store and see if we can make this happen because if i'm literally going to the store without any money like i'm not even taking the ten dollars the additional ten dollars the actual ten dollars that i use every month for water i'm not taking any money no money no cash no car no check no nothing i just want to see if what I believe I can get for free is what can actually possibly take place. Four cases of water and either the eyeshadow brush or the eyeshadow applicator for free using the coupons, the extra bucks, as well as the care patch rewards. Let's go. I'm trying to find a eyeshadow brush. Let me see. I'm not sure. Okay, this says blending. But blending is not necessarily the eyeshadow but bl blush. Brush. Let's see, that's an eyebrow duo. I really need one of those, but how much does it cost? It doesn't say, okay, just stay focused. Okay, we really need either the eyeshadow applicators or a eyeshadow brush. Okay, I think this right here may possibly be for eyeshadows. These brushes here for $7.99. So, let me see. Let me read the back. It says a blush brush, concealer brush, angle, angled eyeliner brow brush, and all over eyeshadow brush. And yet, 
does it tell me which brush is which? This is not bad, but let me see. Let me keep looking. Okay, so we have some applicators right here. 20 single-ended applicators for $329. I'm just going to keep looking because I think I might just get that brush set. But I don't use the other brushes, so it may be kind of a waste of time unless I give the other brushes to my mom. I'm not seeing anything else that's standing out to me that's concerning eyeshadow. So I think I am going to try to get this here. Since it did state that it had an eyeshadow brush in it. So I can pretty much narrow it down and determine which one is which once I get home. Okay, world, I think I'm thinking more of, like, something like this here. These are cotton tip applicators for eyeshadows. And I think these would be more sanitary than me just having, like, that one brush. Because that means that I still may have to have more than one eyeshadow brush, I would assume. So, since it's two for eight, and one is 429 I'm just going to go on and purchase the last two here for $8. And I'm going to see if it's going to be a free situation for me once we get in line. Okay, as you can see, the water is back at four three, four three nine, four dollars and thirty nine cents. So I'm gonna see what other waters we might can get on sale. There was water at the big at the front, so I'm gonna see if that's something that is on sale before I decide what I'm gonna do next. Okay, guys, I just found out that the the just basics which is the ones that i was coming in here for are still 2.99 and they have exactly four cases as well so it was meant for me to come in here Okay, world, I'm back, and I spent 25 cents. The issue with me spending 25 cents is because I didn't go through all of my coupons to see what coupons I could use to get the things that I needed. When I arrived to the store, I didn't even see any of the things that I had priced online in the store. I had priced a single eyeshadow brush for $6. I had priced some applic applicators that were, I can't remember how many was in a, a, a container, but I didn't even think about this brand here, which is a pretty cheap brand for makeup tools. 
Beauty 360. And I had a coupon for Beauty 360. And it took off a dollar. This was $4.29 by itself. You know, I, I was in the store and I was going to buy two for eight. But the man at the register says that he always is couponing. And he told me the best way to come out of the store, basically, pretty much without spending anything, but yet keeping some of my extra bucks intact. So, I did good because at least I went in there and I got exactly what I said I needed. Either I was going to get eyeshadow applicators. Well, I was gonna get a eyeshadow brush and I did purchase or I did get four cases of free water. Now, when you view the receipt, it does say that each item was five cents a piece. Pretty much I was paying the tax on this because I pretty much got the water for free. I'm not really sure how they broke it down, but each item, those five items were five cents a piece. And yes, my goal was to not spend absolutely no money, but 25 cents is pretty darn good. 99% savings is extremely good. And I'm just thankful that I always keep my wallet with me because of course I have to because I drove to the CVS to coupon. So obviously I have to have my driver's license somewhere, but it was a good thing that I had change. I usually don't keep change. I usually just give all my change to my mom, but I did have a few quarters on me and I really appreciate the cashier definitely helping me out to create a deal that was going to allow me to use certain coupons, extra bucks in my care pass with leaving me still with like four dollars in extra bucks. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, I didn't use the 30% off coupon that I received in the mail because he said I couldn't use it because the water was already on sale. The, the water's normally $4.39, and since it was on sale, I couldn't use it on that item. And honestly, it wouldn't make sense to take 30% off of $4.29. Like, I want to take 30% off of something that may be like $9.00. You know, make it worth my while. Bring it down to, you know, this amount or five or six dollars. But to take 30% off of this wouldn't have really helped me too much. I mean, it would have gotten me down to free. But I definitely could utilize that coupon to the fullest in a whole different scenario on a whole different day in a completely different transaction. So overall, I am very pleased with what I accomplished today. I am ahead of the water game because now we have like 16 or 17 cases of water and we definitely won't run out definitely this time, but we don't never run out of water. We usually wait until we have like maybe two cases left and then we go get more water. But Thanks to one cute couponer for her, like, incredible deal with the, the milk, eggs, and water. We were able to get five, no, 10 cases of water, and we only spent like $16. So, I definitely say, I definitely can say that. We definitely had quite a bit of deals this week, and like I said, I'm I'm proud of myself. I'm I'm learning my mistakes, and I'm trying to get better by making those mistakes. 
and hopefully never making them again. But I don't want to hold you up too long. I really appreciate you watching and tuning in. And I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.